Hey, Vishal Sarkar here. Today I want to talk to you quickly about intellectual wisdom versus embodied wisdom. A couple of days ago, I was talking to an individual who didn't speak very well. He lacked the speaking skills, which is understandable. He also told me that, you know, he is not able to pay his bills properly. He has a loan of over 2.5 crore rupees. And he also said that his relationship with his kids and his relationship with his wife is atrocious quality. It, it is very bad. And he said, Bishal, what am I missing? And I started understanding. I did not, I'm not his coach. I started understanding a little bit. I started giving some generic you know, solutions to him. And then he started immediately saying, oh, I know this. I know that. Oh, I know this also. I heard this also. He has intellectual wisdom. Intellectually, he thinks he knows a lot, but embodiment, he has not practiced it. He does not embody that. See, sometimes I also see people who say, oh, I know this meditation. I have watched that. I have watched 15 hours of videos of Sadhguru. I have, Bishal, I have watched your videos for, you don't know, 10 years I'm watching. The problem is these are intellectual wisdom. This does not work in the real world. It doesn't matter how much you know. What matters is how much you embody. It's not just implementation, but embodiment. When you embody, People can feel that. There is something. I mean, see, when people come to me for coaching, it's not because of anything else, but because of my embodied wisdom that I have, that people see in me. It's the same with you. People will take you to the next level when, and your life, your universe will reward you by taking you to the next level when universe understands that you're embodying the wisdom, not just copy-pasting some guru's line that you watch on YouTube. Does that make sense to you? So don't just have intellectual wisdom, have embody that wisdom. Think, how can I practice it so well that it becomes impossible for me to not know it? There was, a, there was a basketball player, Larry Page. And his coach once said that Larry Page has practiced the, you know, throwing the basket so many times so well that he cannot miss it even if he wants. See, that's embodiment. You can't even miss. You can't do wrong even if you want. Means you have done it so many times, so well, so powerfully, so perfectly, that it's a part of your, it's a part of yourself. It's a part of your, you know, blood. For example, if you wake me up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and say, Bishal, you have to give a 45 minute speech. It's like, done deal. It's not a big deal. People inside our program, they do the same thing. So it's not your information. It's embodied wisdom that can change your life. That's gonna, that's the difference between somebody who's making, somebody who has a net worth of 10 lakhs versus somebody who has a net worth of 50 crore rupees. It's embodied wisdom. That's the difference between somebody who, who knows a lot about confidence and energy versus somebody who is confident and energetic. Does that make sense to you? Don't have intellectual wisdom. Embody your wisdom. Vishal Sarkar here, reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection.